Shalom Israel. Today we're going to prove that the Apocrypha is in the Holy Bible. All right, let's start with uh, Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of, out of the book of the Lord and read. The Most High says, Seek out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. No one of the prophecies in this Bible is going to fail. Read. None shall one remain. Uh -huh. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. The Most High has gathered the spirit of the Bible together. All of the books, not just the books that you get in your Christian church, but the Apocrypha as well. We're going to read about the, the King James Holy Bible. Give me that out of the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. All right, read that. Compact Bible Dictionary, King James Version. When Elizabeth died in 1603, the crown passed to James I, who had been King of Scotland for 37 years, mm -hmm. as James IV, several months after he ascended the throne of England. He authorized, he, what? he authorized a new translation. So, he authorized a new translation of the Bible, the whole Bible. Let's see what he authorized. Read. He authorized a new translation of the Bible mm -hmm. to replace the Bishop's Bible. Read. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars uh -huh. of the day were divided into six groups. They were divided into six groups. Read. Three for the Old Testament. Three for the Old Testament. Two for the New Testament. Two for the New Testament. And one for the Apocrypha. And one for what? The Apocrypha. Now, my question is, why was their group given to translate the Apocrypha? It was not in the Bible. Let's get the understanding. Let's go to John chapter 10 and verse 22. The book of John chapter 10 verse 22. Mm -hmm. And it was at Jerusalem the Feast of Dedication. The what? The Feast of Dedication. Where is the Feast of Dedication? As your Christian pastor, where is the Feast of Dedication? Read. The Feast of Dedication and it was winter. And it was what? Winter. So now we know that Jesus the Christ himself celebrated the Feast of Dedication. But where is that at in the Holy Bible? Let's find it. Let's go to 1 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 59. The book of 1 Maccabees chapter 4 verse 59. Uh -huh. Moreover, Judas and his brethren with the whole congregation of Israel ordained that the days of the dedication of the altar should be kept in their season uh -huh. from year to year by the space of eight days uh -huh. from the 5 and 20th day of the month cast loose with mirth and gladness. So right here we're seeing the origins of the feast of dedication which Christ kept. So Christ kept his commandment. So if this was not an ordained book, why was Jesus Christ following in the same footsteps that the Maccabees laid? Right. All right. From there, let's go to John chapter 11 and verse 48. John chapter 11, verse 48. Uh -huh. If we let him thus alone. They're talking about Christ. If we leave Christ alone, read. All men will believe on him. All men will believe on him. Read. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And both the what? Place and and nation. So right here we read in the New Testament the Romans were the ruling class during the New Testament of the Bible. Now let's see who was ruling previous. Let's go to Daniel chapter 8 and verse 20. The book of Daniel chapter 8 and verse 20. Uh -huh. The ram which thou sawest having two horns mm -hmm. are the kings of Media and Persia. So the, 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 the ram is the Medes and the Persians. Daniel was uh, uh, talking to, uh, giving the explanation of a vision. He said the Medes are this ram. Read. And the rough goat is the king of Grecia. And the rough goat is the king of Grecia. Now, we read about the Medes and Persians in the Bible. You read about them in Ezra. You read about it in Nehemiah. You read about it in Esther. There's history in the Bible that you have in your Christian church about those captivities. But the rough goat is who? And the rough goat is the king of Grecia. But the rough goat is the king of Grecia. Where are the books? Where is the history and the facts that you can find of the Grecians? You cannot find it. But if you open up the Apocrypha, this is where you will find this lost history. Let's go to 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 1. We're going to prove to you that this book is historical fact and evidence that the Apocrypha is in the Bible. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the uh -huh. Macedonian, uh -huh. who came out of the land of Chedor, uh -huh. had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes. Who did he smit? King D Darius, king of the Persians and Medes. The king of the Persians and the Medes. This was the next ruling class. But this is not in your Bible. Read. That he reigned in his steed, the first over Greece. The first over who? Over Greece. Daniel just prophesied about a rough goat, the Grecians. Why is that not in your Bible? Let's go to verse 10, same chapter. Verse 10, and there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, 
surname Epiphanes, mm -hmm. son of Antiochus the king, mm -hmm. who had been in hostage at Rome. Uh -huh. And he reigned in the 130 and 7th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. The kingdom of who? Of the Greeks. So we're reading that this, all of this can be found in your Bible and it correlates perfectly in the Apocrypha. Right. Why? Because this is historical holy scriptures as well. Your Christian pastors are lying to you. Right. All right. We'll give you more examples. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 45 and verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 45 and verse 1. The book of Jeremiah, the 45th chapter and the first verse. Read. The word that Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Baruch. Spoke unto who? Baruch, uh -huh. the son of Neriah. Mm -hmm. When he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah. So he wrote down a whole book, Baruch, and it's mentioned of in the book of Jeremiah. Let's go to the book of Baruch. In the Apocrypha. Let's see that the correlate. Start at verse 1. Baruch chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. And these are the words of the book which Baruch the son of Neriah. Baruch the son of Neriah. We just read about him in the book of Jeremiah. Read. The son of Messiah. Uh -huh. The son of Sadashius. The son of Asidius. And the son of Chelsius. Wrote in Babylon. Uh -huh. In the fifth year. And in the seventh day of the month. What time as the Chaldeans took Jerusalem and burnt it with fire? Now, it's historical fact. You can look it up. We can pull scriptures all day proving that Jerusalem was historically burnt on fire by the Chaldeans, also known as the Babylonians. Right. Now, we can do this all day long, but just in this short time, we were able to show you that both the Apocrypha and the Bible, they correlate perfectly together. With that being said, let's go to Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Because at the end of the day, the most high word is going to go forth. All right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. Uh -huh. Declaring the end from the beginning. The most high has declared the end from the beginning. Why is the apocrypha not found in most Bibles? Because he wants you to search. He wants you to figure it out. Go deeper than what your Christian pastor has taught you. Read. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, uh -huh. saying, my counsel shall stand, uh -huh. and I will do all my pleasure. The Most High says his counsel will stand. His books will be found and revealed. All right? With that, we say shalom. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.